Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Confessions of a Virtual Assistant and this episode is the last stop for my social media management series. In case you missed the three previous episodes, please check my playlist. Today, I will share with you three formats that you can use to write captions for your social media accounts. If this is something that you'd like to learn today, Please stick around until the end of this video. In case you don't know, caption writing is my jam. I love creating and writing captions for my clients and even for my own business. Funny thing is some of my friends even ask me to create captions for them, especially when they are selling something. So, I guess it's pretty safe to say that it runs in my blood. In this episode, I will share with you two formats, basic formats for caption writing that I have learned in the courses I enrolled in before or from my previous clients. And the other format is my very own Coach Z caption writing format. And at the end of this video, I will also share with you some more tips and how to make your captions more engaging, more attractive, and captions that connect. Format number one. This is the most basic caption writing format. You'd probably see this when you search on Google because it's like the SOP when it comes to writing captions and copies. So this basic format includes a headline, a problem, a solution, and a call to action. Now, let me tell you that headline is very important in your captions and even in your blogs, your content, and even your email newsletters. So a headline is a must for your captions. Next is the problem. You share a problem or a pain point in your caption that you think will relate to your target or ideal readers. And you also provide a solution to the problem that you just shared. Ideally, your own solution or your proven solution to the problem. I don't think it's a good idea that you share a solution that you just copied from somebody else. And of course, a call to action. A CTA is a must for all captions, for all copies, and for all content. So make sure to always add a CTA in your captions. So that's the first format. A headline, a problem, a solution, and a call to action. Caption writing format 2. So I call this the question point type of format. A question, a stat, or something that will justify your point, your point, and a call to action. Again. So what do I mean by this? A headline that starts with a question is more attractive, I believe, based on my experience. Because when you ask a question, it's like, talking directly to your reader and asking them and when they see a question they most probably would like to answer that question or would like to get answers from the same question that you just had so a question as your headline is also a good starting point when writing your captions it connects directly to your readers it makes them curious it makes it gets them interested because they would also would want to know the answer to the question or they already know the answer to the question. So they will most probably engage with your post. Let's say, do you think I should quit Instagram? When, when somebody scrolls through the feed and see your post and the headline is, do you think I should quit Instagram? Most probably they will read your caption. 
because it makes them curious. It makes them interested. It's something that they can relate to. So a question as your headline is a good starting point. And followed by a statistics or research or something that will support the point that you'd like to make. So let's say, do you think, do you think I should quit Instagram? The next is the statistics. Because according to Google, there has been a slight drop of 20% among business owners on Instagram, blah, blah, blah. And the point that you'd like to make. So you see, you shared something in support of the next thing that you'd like to point out. It could either be a positive or a negative point point okay it's up to you because it depends on you so the next thing would be a call to action so again a question something that will support your point the point you'd like to make and a call to action that's caption writing format two <music> The third but not the least caption writing format is my very own Coach Z caption writing format. C for catchy headline, O for own story, A for antidote, C for call to action, H for hashtags, and Z for zappy. Okay, let me discuss them to you one by one. Catchy headline, yes. Because you might have a headline in your captions, but it doesn't really attract your ideal readers. It doesn't sound catchy. It doesn't sound attention-grabbing. So it's best to have a catchy headline, a scrawl-stopper headline. It's, it would really depend on you on what you think would make your ideal readers stop and read so it's best to think about a catchy headline for each caption that you make next is your own story i am a big fan of storytelling i am a huge believer of story cells because that's your own story and your own story makes you authentic and when you are authentic you build genuine connection with your readers so it's best that you add a story in your caption your own story and not other people's story because that is very engaging and it really truly connects with your ideal readers next is antidote antidote is the answer or the advice that you'd like to share from the story that you shared so in every caption if you check my instagram captions most of my posts or my captions are in storytelling form and i usually add an advice or an answer in the end to wrap up my captions next is call to action all captions must have a call to action, so don't forget that one. Next is hashtags. I always add hashtags in all captions that I create. Not the big hashtags, the general hashtags, but branded hashtags. So if you'd go check out my Instagram account at VA underscore Zyra, you will notice that I always have Two of these three hashtags in my captions hashtag VA confessions hashtag coach Z hashtag caption geek these three are my branded hashtags and I always make sure to include them in my captions why because I know for a fact that when people search for these three hashtags my posts are the first ones that they would see Next is Zappy, Z for Zappy. Zappy is being lively and energetic. 
you know, it's best to create captions with personality, a pinch of humor, a dash of fun and entertainment because nobody wants to read boring captions. So make sure to add personality, add color to your captions, something that people will enjoy reading. That's very important in any caption. Well, at least for me. So that's my very own caption writing format. Coach Z. Catchy headline, own story, antidote, call to action, hashtags, and zappy. So if you want to make use of my very own caption writing format, feel free to do so. But please subscribe to my channel if you like this tip. Now that I have finally shared with you the three formats that you can use when it comes to writing your captions for social media accounts, here are some more tips on how to make your captions more engaging, attractive, and simply connect with your readers. First thing to remember is that emotions are good triggers. So make sure that you add emotions in your captions or something that would make your readers feel you because when they feel you, they'll connect with you through messages or through comments. Next again is to remember not to sound too boring because nobody wants to read a boring caption or a content. Next is that I would suggest that when you prepare your captions, read them aloud because if it sounds good when you hear it it most definitely sounds great when people read it so again make sure to read your captions aloud before posting so you can make tweaks and edit and revise if necessary and then next would be make use of simpler words. It's best to be clear than clever. Make sure that your captions are simple enough that even a fourth grader can understand your captions. So if you need to find more simple words, then you can make use of the thesaurus or you can search for Google for other terms for certain words. So those are the four more tips that I can share with you. Emotion is a trigger. Don't sound too boring. Read your captions aloud and use simpler words. If you enjoyed this episode, please share this with your friends. Comment down your thoughts and if you find this helpful, please subscribe to my channel and like this video. Till my next episode.